surveyor was now within 1,000 miles of the moon's surface, hurtling in at 5,000 miles an hour. Within that short distance, a precise combination of brute power and finesse would have to slow it down, maintain perfect balance, and bring it in at a gentle fall. Surveyors reported in excellent condition. All signals look good. 4,000 feet, stable. 400 feet. 200 feet. 100 feet per second. 100 feet. 100 feet. 100 feet. 13 feet per second. 13 feet per second speed. Touch. The bus speed reports touchdown. If Surveyor had done only this, made a perfect soft landing on the first shot after traveling over 240,000 miles against overwhelming odds, it would have been a tremendous achievement. Would have built a bridge for the astronauts. But it did much more. Paid dividends almost unhoped for. These pictures will be with the lens at wide angle setting. Cool after and detached, the voice of the scientist calls out Surveyor's achievement. And so it went on. The parade of pictures, over 10,000, remarkable as a triumph of technique, yet now routine in a way, as surveyor's camera obeyed every command, fulfilled every request. It sent back man's first close look at the mountains, the rocks, and craters of the moon. It identified such landmarks as the range of mountains known to be part of the Flamsteed Crater. The excellent resolution of nearby rocks and surface indentations caused by surveyor's foot pads is helping scientists determine detailed surface physical properties. But most important is the fact that surveyor did land on the moon and worked.